Hey, what is up guys? I'm Greg Builds, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're creating easy to build a greenhouse. Now this greenhouse has a stylish design and it uses easy to gather materials. Now this build will add to any farm area in your Minecraft world. And this greenhouse style building could also be converted into a bee farm, as well as a sheep pen or any other style farm you prefer. Now this build is broken down into five easy to follow steps. And without further ado, let's start the build. Also, this house is roughly 18 by 33 blocks wide, and it is 10 blocks tall. Now here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this house. Also, this entire build project will require 18 block by 33 block area spacing, and I marked my area with coarse dirt blocks, and you could do the same, and that way we'll know how big the layout is before we start the build. Step 1. First let's work on the cobblestone arches. We'll need 192 cobblestone and 50 stripped birch wood. Let's start by moving over to the third dirt block. Then move back an additional space. Then make a five tall column. And add a block next to that. And we can also add one on top. Then we can continue this pattern up. And we can follow the pattern on the screen. Then we could do the same on the other side. And to refresh, we can move over to the third dirt block from the corner of the outline. Then move back a space. Then make a five tall column. Then one to the side and one on top of that. And we could follow the on-screen pattern as well. And this is the same exact pattern as we did before, but in the opposite direction. Then once completed, let's add a row of five strip birch wood in front. And we can do the same on the other side, adding five stripped birch wood in front of the arch. Then we can add an identical arch in front of that. And this pattern will have the same exact dimensions as the one behind it. Then we can add another five strip birch woods in front of that. And we can add five strip birch wood on the other side as well. Then we can create the same exact arch pattern. And we can do this a total of times until we have a total of six arches with five strip birch wood in between each archway. Step 2. Next let's add in the end walls of the greenhouse. We'll need 76 strip birch wood, 72 glass blocks, 20 cobblestone slabs, 28 birch fence posts, and 4 birch doors. Next let's add in strip birch walls under the end arch. Then we can add a cross beam in between the birch wood, and this will be at the 4th block up. Then we can fill in the center. Then let's add in fence posts, and we can add cobblestone slabs on top of the fence post.
Also, make sure to leave enough space so there's a three wide window in between. Then let's repeat on the other side, making another bay window. And we can do this with fence posts, cobblestone slabs, and glass blocks for the windows. Then we can add in the birch doors. Then up top, let's fill in the remaining opening with glass blocks. Then let's repeat the same exact process on the back side. To refresh, add a four tall birch wood column. Then we can add another one on the other side. Then let's add in a crossbeam. And this crossbeam will go all the way to the other side. And we can fill underneath this crossbeam with more stripped birch wood. Then we can add in the bay windows with fence posts and cobblestone slabs. And make sure to leave a three wide opening for windows. Then we can add a bay window on the other side and add in birch doors in the center of the wall. Then we can finish up the step with adding glass blocks on top of this. Step 3. Next up is the side walls and roof. We'll need 200 strip birch wood and 300 glass blocks. At the side, let's add in strip birch wood at the third block up. And we can extend this cross beam all the way to the back side. Then we can add another cross beam at the fifth cobblestone block up. And we can extend this one to the back as well. Then we can add in another cross beam up here. And we can do one more on top as well. Then we can repeat this on the other side. And there'll be four identical cross beams on this side as well. One at the third block up. Then one at the fifth block up. One along this archway. and another one on the top. Then we could fill in the remaining openings with glass blocks. Step 4. Next let's add in the side entrances and trim pieces. We'll need 60 birch planks, 80 birch slabs, and 2 birch doors. 
At the side of the building, let's make an entrance at the center bay. And over here, we can add an archway. And we could use this pattern here. Then once the pattern is laid out, we can add another layer to it, making it two planks wide. Then at the center, we can add in a birch door. Then we can add in a birch slab below and above the second window up. And we can continue this across the entire side of the greenhouse. Then let's repeat for the other side of the greenhouse. To refresh, we can add in a birch archway at the center bay, and we can follow this pattern here. Then let's make this archway a total of two planks deep. And we can add in a birch door in the center. Then let's add in slabs to finish off the trim. Step five, next we can add in the farm in the center. Now for this, I'm gonna use a garden hoe and this will till up the soil into farmland. Then we can add in water holes and these water holes will help keep the ground saturated and this will help provide a healthy crop. Then we can add in some seeds. Also, we can add in storage at the back of the greenhouse, and this will be used for, for storing crops, seeds, tools, or whatever else you'll need to store. Now this build is completed. However, I'm gonna add in extra vegetable gardens on the sides, and this is for decoration. And also, you can make your gardens as big as you would like. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, you can also use your greenhouse building for other types of farms, such as a bee farm. And if you want to use this as a bee farm, you can open up the top and that will remove some of the glass blocks. And that way, if you remove some of the glass blocks on the top, the bees can fly in and out of the barn. And this building could be used to produce a large amount of honey. Or you could use it as a sheep farm or any other farm that you would like.
Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or like to leave some feedback, I would love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys! Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.